so we have a question and I'm going to expand on it. Uh, it was from Lori and it had to do with probates, but I'm going to kind of take what she asked and, and expand on it a little bit because one of the things that's been in the news that I've been reading is President Biden is looking at an inheritance tax. He's looking at mm -hmm. increasing, uh, well, I guess you can't increase a tax if you haven't, if you don't have it. But uh, so, and then you talked about probate. So the, I guess the question is, is if we make the right type of trust and I guess you would work with us to make sure we do do that. Does that mean that we would not be facing or our heirs would not be facing inheritance taxes? Very much could be. It really depends on the size of estate that you have. And definitely they've forever since I got into business a long time ago, over 40 years ago is when I joined the, the ranks of the unemployed, so to speak, <laughs> uh, uh, where you are in business and you're actually doing business. And one of the things that I've seen them do, for example, when I first got started in business, the tax code was that if the estate was $600,000, $600,000 was the only amount that was exempt from estate taxes. Anything above 600,000 was 55% tax. And that was just at the federal level on top of that was state. So in other words, they were stealing a lot of people's entire wealth. They were, their whole lifetime of work was literally going to the government and their kids had to fend for themselves. And maybe their kids participated heavily in actually creating that wealth. So it was a very sad thing to see happen. And then as Congress moves and changes, well, right now it's $11.8 million that's exempt from federal taxes. Now, now that's not true at the state level, but that's true at the federal level. So now what do you got? You got something amazing. However, that's exactly, and, and your point is well taken, Scott, that that is exactly what is at work right now where they're trying to ratchet that way back down. And there's a lot of numbers at play all the way back down to the $600,000 number when I first got into this business. So just know that uh, it's something to pay attention to and definitely pay attention to who you vote for because their beliefs are what causes votes. And then when they get there to Congress, their arms are twisted and they're made to do things they otherwise would not do. So you have to, you have to decide who you've really got. And if they're strong enough to say, number one, say what they would do. And number two, hold that line versus be corrupted into changing that vote. But uh, in the meantime, there is a solution for that. We do have what we call the elite trust. And the elite trust is, why do I call it the elite trust? Because it's what the elites use. And there are generations skipping, there are generation passing, there's dynasty benefits to using certain kinds of trusts that allow the, the trust to live on past the death of the beneficiaries, past the death of the trustees, and lives on for generation to generation to generation to come. And the growth inside the trust can stay inside the trust and only be taxed when the trust is collapsed, when the trust pays out. So there can be some very long range benefits to using certain types of trusts that can actually, uh, let's say, defer taxes for a very long period of time. 